integration of the Rockdale County school system was a relative smooth transition. The verdict is still out on who the winners were in this transition, however. Fall 1965, 15 students from J.P. Carr volunteered to attend the white schools. During the next three years, 1966, 67, 67, 68, and 68, 69, more and more black students volunteered. The voluntary plan started in 1965, but Rockdale County Schools did not fully integrate until the fall of 1969. I was at J.P. Carr uh, in the first grade, and I wanted to um, I ask my parents, can I go to the white school? And that was, um, it was voluntary. Um, so that I was going to the second grade. And so my parents said yes. So my parents, uh, to me, that showed some strength and some resolve, um, you know, for to let their eight-year-old go to, you know, a school before mandatory integration. And I appreciate them allowing me to, to do that. This was 68 through 69 school year. And when I attended in the second grade, I went to Pine Street Elementary. I remember walking down the halls. I've been hearing the N-word, you know, people, young kids shouting out the N-word. And I, I was uh, in class and this little white boy kicked me in the eye and he, would, he gave me a 10 cents to not to tell. But you know, I told my mom, my parents, and my mom came over and addressed the situation. She was getting her books out of her desk and this little white kid kicked her in the face. And now, oh boy, that just really set it off. My husband said, I can't let you go up at school by yourself, so I'm gonna have to take off my job. We both was off our job. And the teacher uh, got a little upset. She said, well, you know, you just can't come in and just come in and I have a, a, a appointment or whatever. I said, yes, I can. I can come when somebody kicked my child in the face. I said, kick my child in the face and nothing was done about it. I said, now I'm here for that. And you know, so we got that situation straightened out. When I returned to Rockdale County as a teacher in 1972, there were only a few African-American teachers and most were teachers that were teaching when I was a student. This number of black teachers continued to dwindle as many retired. Very few, if any, African-American teachers were hired after immigration. So most schools only had one or two black teachers. There was a need for a leader that could relate to meeting the needs of the students. Now from 1978 to 1992, I repeatedly more than 15 times applied for assistant principal and principal vacancies that became available in the county. I had the education, I had the certifications, I had the qualifications, and I had the experience for all of these positions, but someone else was always selected. And each and every time the person selected was of the white persuasion. There were other African-Americans that applied for positions and they too were never selected. In 1988, I filed a racial discrimination lawsuit and this suit was settled before going to a jury trial in 1992. It's very pleasing to see the leadership in our county, the leadership in our school system that has occurred. But unless we forget from whence we have come, history is destined to repeat itself. We are not on guard. If we are not vigilant, we will see the same thing that take place that we saw, and we are seeing the same things that take, took place back in the 50s, the 40s, before my time. Our kids just, they don't get it, you know, going to school. So it's up to us as parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents to tell these kids that 
you know, the things that we've gone through with and the shoulders that we are on and people that had to die. Like I told my grandkids, people died for you to vote. People went through some things for you to vote. We were beaten, we were dogs we put on those fire hoses, all that stuff. Children being bombed up in their own churches. And it's, it's, it's just really something to think about that we, we been on the face of the earth, brought here, and then had to fight, and fight and fight and fight. And still, we made we made some headway, but not a lot. <laughs>